Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Where our union was saved by the immortal heroes at Gettysburg. Gettysburg, what an unbelievable battle that was the battle of gettysburg what an unbelievable Unbelievable. i mean it was so much and so interesting and so vicious and horrible and so beautiful in so many different ways it Mm. it represented such a big portion of the success of this country portion (laughs) wow Wow, just wow. He has no idea no what went on at Getty. No. no idea. Did we get the part about him fighting uphill? Did he? Uh-huh. No, he got, don't yeah. fight uphill in me, yeah. boys. Okay. Gettysburg, wow. wow. I go to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania to uh-huh. look and to watch. Close your and, dreams. And uh, <laughs> the statement of Robert E. Lee, who's no longer in favor. Did you ever notice that? No longer in favor. Yeah, since the 1800s. Never fight uphill, me boys. Never fight uphill. What? They were fighting uphill. He said, what? wow, that was a big mistake. He lost his great general. And uh, they were fighting. Never fight uphill, me boys. But it was too late. What? <laughs> I think he was thinking of Jack and Jill. Yeah. Very <laughs> <laughs> or maybe timey kangaroo down sport. Right. Yes. <laughs> me boys. Uh, I, yeah. I, never fight quite uphill, honestly, me boys. How I had a mom with Alzheimer's, and I'm just like. Plus, you look at him in court yesterday. Holy crap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. I, well, I, it's clear. I mean, I think everybody's been pointing out that he's very much sundowning these days. It mm-hmm. seems that like after when after yeah. dark, it's like right on cue. He gets slurrier and weirder. But the problem is that usually has to deal with exhaustion mm-hmm. because it's yeah. not about sundown. Right. It's about how many hours you can stay awake right. before you start to collapse. And the problem is he sleeps like four hours a night and then he's up rage truthing or whatever trothing <laughs> trothing at at. 5 a.m. Yeah. yeah. And then his fade time is before lunch. Yeah. Can I just He's say that this is not... at 11 a.m. In, in the case of... Uh, you'll be, it'll be amazing to watch how quickly people adapt to being around Trump in a courtroom. Right. Yeah. My question is, is the turnout yesterday was pretty pitiful as far as the yeah. maggots showing up outside. I, I, I don't suspect the crowd will get any bigger. Yeah. My guess is uh, the, a lot of them will last for... Four days, five days, end of the week. Maybe. Would you, would you like to hear the description? Yeah, sure. <laughs> a smattering of pro Trump demonstrators, yeah. some wearing costumes, other carrying signs, one temporarily lowering the top of her dinosaur themed one piece before writhing on the ground in performative ecstasy. Oh. So you know that's A, what I'm going to do in Philly, sexy liberal, in a couple weeks. In but... a dinosaur theme. <laughs> dinosaur theme. <gasps> yeah. You could do T Rex bit. There you and go. I'll... Uh-oh. Oh, She's okay. always asking for that. Great. And then, and then we end up bringing back the dinosaurs, and then what? It, land of the Lost. Uh-huh. And then we're surrounded by sleigh stacks, exactly. and it's all and your chalk up. Going, <laughs> and then chalk up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> but this just is the clown show. You knew it would be, right? He's, this is what I, I'm always on the edge, Hal, of that we have to take him seriously in his incitement of violence. But just Friday, all hell's going to break loose. Mm, the no. largest people are not going to stand for this. And then you realize the emperor has no clothes. I, I got to tell you, <laughs> it, his right now, the things that his... his Fearful phrases that we were, we grew to worry about while he was president are now sort of the phrases that a, a late seventies early eighties band yells at a state fair from stage like Are you ready <laughs> for rock and roll? And everybody's like I'm actually in the middle of a elephant ear right now and uh, I'm still a little dizzy from the tilt a whirl. But yeah, in a minute I'll be ready to rock. Um, I can't hear you really because there's not that many people talking. Right, there's like there's only seven of us here. Uh, I can't. Maybe he is deaf. He's been on the road a long time. I guess that, yeah, it, he is that guy now. He yeah. is. He, yeah. uh, this is his. This is a fat Elvis time. Yeah, and he doesn't realize it. <laughs> fat you know, orange Elvis. At least fat Elvis still had his voice. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Trump's just a whiny howler monkey at this point with the laryngitis. <laughs> um, did we have him? Just, you know, what he said this morning? Did we like no, we he came don't. out. Okay. No. Yeah, 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 what did he say this morning? Uh, no, the same thing he said on? yesterday. Honest to God, I don't even know why you need and why people need new clips of Trump. I, like, I have yesterday's. No, <laughs> but yeah, play it again. It's the same garbage. The only oh, thing he said right. was oh, yeah. the well, judge he, is a criminal. Uh, Trump rages against people on TV lying and spewing hate after he was caught sleeping on at trial. Right. Oh, it's yeah. our fault he fell asleep. Yeah. Okay, people reporting it is uh-huh. okay. Right. Mm-hmm. All right, Don Snorleone. Okay, let's eighteen. Sure. Donald Sloan. It's the same thing. Jody, it's basically you're right. the same thing. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. We'll this is an assault on America. Nothing like this has ever happened before. There's never been anything like it. Every legal scholar said this case is nonsense. It should never have been brought. It doesn't deserve anything like this. Is there a dog? There is yeah, what's no the case? And they've said it. People that don't necessarily follow or like Donald Trump. 
that this is an outrage that this case was brought. Yeah, the only thing I different- just is whining, but with echoed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, I, I, it's kind of fantastic. The, those are my favorite audio drops of him right now, is because it's so hollow and lonely. <laughs> right, you know, it's it's it sounds exactly like what it'll sound like if you're like four cells down from him. <laughs> you know what I mean? The echo off the concrete. <laughs> Right, you know what I mean? Where you're like, shut up. Shut up, Donald. <laughs> we're, 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 trying we're trying to sleep. Good Lord. <laughs> I'm trying to shift someone over yeah, here. Right, shut yeah. up. Can you just wash yourself in your toilet and go to bed like the rest of us? <laughs> this, is, this is aggravating. But he, this, yeah, yeah, well, this would be the uh, statement from the, I guess this is the traveling bassinet. Yeah. Uh, as you know, my son's graduating from high school, and it looks like the judge will not let me go to the graduation of my son. He didn't say the name. He doesn't remember. Right. It worked very hard, and he's a great student. It looks like the judge is going to allow me to escape this scam. He won't allow me to leave here for half a day to go to D.C. before the United States Supreme Court, because he thinks he's superior, I guess, to the Supreme Court. Okay, mm. first of all, the judge hasn't ruled yet on... On that day. The graduation yeah, day, more which than also likely. is a day they're not in court. It's a Friday right, night. And yeah. also, he didn't go to the graduation of any of his other kids. But okay. Right. Well, uh, we're assuming they graduated. I, I honestly... Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Eric. Eric. Oh. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> right. They're just like, oh, you stopped sniffing glue for a day and eating paint chips? Here. Here's, yeah. a, <laughs> yes. here's a degree. Get when, out. When reached for comment, uh, comment Eric went... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I totally got like, graduated. Oh, yeah, I know you got. Shut up, okay. dummy. <laughs> I'm Don Jr. <laughs> and I Bob prove this message. Bob, <laughs> Bob on Twitter says, as much as it was, is, was infuriating, infuriating that it didn't end his candidacy at the time, there is a consolation in the Access Hollywood tape haunting Donald Trump like something from an Edgar Allan Poe story. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, yesterday he <laughs> he puts on Troth Central that his he's like, who's going to tell Baron why I can't be? I'm like, you dummy, you're his dad. You're the guy. You, uh, 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 go. Uh, don't just go back to the judge ruled against me. Explain to him why you're in court in the first place. Right. Explain to him what yes. you were doing when he was five in months womb. old. <laughs> right. In you, what he was doing was Karen McDougal while yes. you were in utero, yeah, and then and four the, months after he was doing Stormy Daniels, Stormy Daniels yeah. while while, you're, while uh, you were trying to latch. So right. uh, half the jury pool of what, like a hundred was like, mm, not skid- mm. I love the one woman just went, uh, can, they said, can you be fair? She's like, no, I hate him. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> but that's uh, excuse was- me. Are we going to be downwind from him? <laughs> yes. Well, then I can't be impartial. I'm sorry. I can't be right now. My eyes are being, uh, uh, I mean, but I'm this- planted against him. They're watering. I, it ble- I think this I'm going to bleed. What I, we were saying how what I worry is that we tend to be fair on our side and tell the truth. And these yeah. are people I'm sure that are right. like, no, I hate him. I'm from New York. I can't, you know, I can't be fair. But he, because he's a lying dirtbag, I'm afraid the lying dirtbags well, on tweeting his about side it. are going to try to get on and say, oh, yeah, of course I can they're, be fair. They're Xing about it uh, all day. They're like, you should try and get on the on the jury yeah. and, and try to lie and say you can be impartial and then throw the and then hang it up for him. And I'm like, what well, you do realize, even talking like that allows for that suspicion, which just means that everything he's been called out for that's morally wrong in this thing will still hang over his head in the yeah. election, if not worse. Yeah. You could argue that people go, well, an affair is terrible and all this kind of stuff, but you have, shouldn't have to be fined and go to jail for it, and people could let him off the hook if he's found guilty and he has to go through some punishment phase. But if it looks like his maggot supporters headed it off at the pass and bought him out of this moral comeuppance, there's a bunch of voters are going to go like, you know what, you can't get between him and the Lord. The Lord <laughs> yep. had plans for him, and you got between him. That's your karma now. Yeah, you can good, ride this. Speaking ride of that which, karma horse. Good God above tweets. I'm sorry, but I will never get over the staggering hypocrisy of American evangelicals who worship Donald Trump, the man who lies nonstop, cheats on his wife with porn stars, and sells his own Bibles. I mean, we've just reached peak I, I got to say, growing up in, you know, Peaks Mill Christian Church and having our run through like road preachers that come by, uh-huh. every single one of them has a an immoral backstory Absolutely. like Donald Trump. Like, I was the wine and the cocaine. And <laughs> I was in a hotel with 16 young harlots and found, and ultimately it took a, a six-year prison sentence to get me to find Jesus <laughs> and a way out of prison early yeah. if I just keep selling these books around town. Yeah. And that's... They, they all have that. And a so, redemption arc. That, and that, the evangelicals, yeah. I got to tell you, there's something pervy, and this is right mm. in line with the Lauren Boebert's of the world. It's like Mike Pillow. Yeah, that you, you sit there and listen to this prurient 
kind of sexual story in church and get all titillated about it. And then it's got a happy ending where you can kind of go, so okay, if you, a Jesus baby wipe at the end to make yep. me feel all, all cleansed. Yep. But man, that was a good, can you tell that story again about yeah. where, what motel was this actually? Is there an, can I yelp that or um, the Mike Lindell story? Totally. That's exactly it. And Hal Sparks yeah. knows because I gave him a happy ending. It's sex. It's, it, it, yes. It's it's almost that a was a tragedy. really authentic Boberding d- demonstration. Yeah. Well, yeah. I no, because she follows through. I yeah. got to say it was a oh. it was a drive by right. Boberding. I think clearly <laughs> that's what I said. Like Lauren Bobert. She, what she was, she looked like she was operating a flight simulator made out of play doh. That's what she, when she grabbed him, she's like, "I'm bringing this thing in for a landing squish." Hey, squash. If you saw puppetry point, point. of the penis, you know men like a firm touch. I didn't know that. I'm like, "Wow, you can do that with it?" Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You can tie I, it in a knot. Like, you can throw yeah, it on your shoulder it a like hamburger. a continental yeah. soldier. Absolutely. You can like turn a, it into a hamburger. I like. I know. I like a lover with an easy touch. I like a slow hand. I didn't men like you got to get in there like a right. Not at first. Over time, though. Oh, right. Okay. Know what I mean, yeah. Over yeah, time, yeah, yeah. balloon animal. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, well, it's like uh, you know, it's like pancakes, like the old Mitch Hedberg thing. Like when you when it first shows up, you're all excited, but by the end of it, you're sick of them. The same thing is true of a yeah, male sex arc. End, like by like, the beginning of it, you're like you're like whoa, anything in the end. Wow, Dodger dog. A little while, you're like easy. Funny maybe. I don't know. Put on some. Can you wear that hat over there? We'll just try anything. <laughs> run, run around the room banging cymbals. Something's got to work.